I'm Dad. I'm Boy. And I'm the girl. And on this episode of Raspberry Pi for Beginners, we're going to connect up an ultrasonic sensor and a line follower to our robot car. In the last video, we created the basic frame for our robot car. Remember when I said I had a great idea? Well, here it is, Lego sticky strips. I've also stuck Lego on the bottom of the breadboard. But if you were just using the original box, you could just simply stick it inside. Now, we are ready to connect up our line follower. Head over to the camjam.me website. Browse to Camjam Educate 3 and download Workshop 5. Here you will see the breadboard wiring diagram. Follow these instructions to connect your line follower to your robot car. On the Raspberry Pi, find the directory with the Python code examples. Quickly, before we test the line follower, we need a test sheet. So print this page from the GitHub repository. Run the fifth example and move the line follower sensor back and forth to test that it is working as seen here. So again, on the GitHub site, Download Workshop 6 and follow the instructions to connect your distance sensor to the breadboard. This time we run example 6. We now move an object closer to the sensor. As you can see the recordings are written to the screen to show the distance. Although the reading does look off, as it should show 30 centimetres, not 0.3 centimetres, which is a little bit odd. Lastly, before we test everything, print off the line following race course. To attach the line follower, we've used a glue gun to attach a couple of pieces of Lego to the Pi robot. This would allow us to easily adjust the height of the line follower as needed. Let's run example 8 and see if our robot car follow the line around the race course. Our robot seemed to be struggling, so we printed a different track with larger black lines. Unfortunately, it still seemed to struggle a little bit. Lastly, run example 9 whilst your robot is boxed in. You can see that this doesn't work quite right, it keeps bumping into things. We think this might be related to the strange ultrasonic sensor readings. So as you can see, we ran into a couple of problems. We think ultimately maybe using wood for the frame was a bad idea. We think it might have added a few uh, difficulties for the robot due to the weight. So what we've done is we've rebuilt the robot but on the original Raspberry Pi Cam Jam kit box. We've talked to the guys who have developed this and we know that the solution works. We might have done something slightly wrong with this. So grab one of these, have fun with it, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.